Hey everybody, this is Dr. William Clark here for Leadership Conversations. This is the show where we talk about leadership according to the world that matters to you. I wanted to uh, quickly share something with you, and that is how to deal with critics. Uh, every leader has a critic. <laughs> and if you thought becoming a leader would uh, absolve you from receiving criticism, uh, I'm, I hate to burst your bubble, we the one to do that, but that's definitely not true. In fact, uh, the more people you're leading, the likelihood the there will be an increase in criticism and the number of critics that will have something to say about your leadership, about your decision making, about things that you do. And um, it's uh, it's something that we all have to deal with uh, as leaders. And so I want to share with you some thoughts about how uh, you can prepare yourself to deal with critics and these are not tips on what to do. These are not tips on how to do. But these are tips on uh, thinking about critics in a different way. And I want to share the purpose of critics with you. Now, in my book, Sustainable, How to Sustain a Faith-Based and Nonprofit Institution, uh, I talk about the importance of antibodies in the innovation process. Uh, the context of uh, me sharing that uh, is innovation is essential for any organization to find its purpose and success in sustaining its work. And during the innovation process, there will always be uh, antibodies who will fight the innovation process. Antibodies, just as you're thinking about uh, physically in your body, are, are people who don't necessarily go with the flow. They don't, uh, they don't help in any type of way on the surface, uh, and it can be a frustrating experience for the leader, uh, for investors, for people who are stakeholders and people who are invested in the success of an organization. And uh, what I share uh, in that book is that uh, there are antibodies that play a role. There are some antibodies that are completely against everything and have no good reason for it. There are some antibodies who uh, are kind of in the middle of the road. They are, they they kind of uh, they're against things sometimes for no reason. They're against things sometimes because they have a good reason, and sometimes they can be on the fence and can go either way in terms of supporting your project, your company, etc. Uh, and uh, they can be hard to read sometimes. And then there are antibodies who are against things for a specific strategic reason all right and that reason can vary from you know they they want to be against things to make sure the best ideas are vetted they want to be against things to make sure the team has thought through uh, every scenario possible before moving forward they may be against things because uh, they don't want to see things f uh, move forward and, you know, the, either all three of these levels uh, of the antibodies can be just damaging to your team. You know, people who are against things for no purpose can be really harmful because they don't provide any substance. People who are middle of the road, they're hard to read. And people who are doing it for a purpose can be uh, forcefully against what you're doing and they can be hard to convince. So this is. Uh, why I wanted to share with you today how to deal with critics and really to share with you uh, the purpose of critics. Now, as a leader, uh, here's the first thing I share. Uh, you could be wrong about something. You could be wrong about an idea, a concept, etc. And uh, a critic can be someone who is trying to help you see things differently, help you understand the environment that uh, you're not necessarily familiar with. Uh, a critic can help you understand all your stakeholders and investors and their value in your work. And if you are not seeing them correctly, it could definitely harm your project, your organization. And the critics, or the antibodies in this case, are there to help you see it right so that you can make tweaks or adjustments and grow from there. Here's the second purpose of critics. Critics could be there uh, in, your, in your space. They could be standing in your way to help you, to help you move forward to help you avoid pitfalls, to help you advance, to help you make the right connections, to help you figure out what you've been struggling to figure out. Critics sometimes are some of the most innovative uh, people I've ever met 
Because while I'm so knee deep in a project, knee deep in a decision, I'm so close to the mirror, as the saying goes, that I can't see the spot that's on my shirt or the spot that's on my tie. And as a leader, if you really think about those moments you feel stuck and you just can't figure things out, you just can't get over this hump, it's because you're so close, you're so in the work. And critics, believe it or not, can be the one that can help you because the criticism of the path you're taking, the criticism of the decisions you've made, the criticism of the strategy you're using can very very well force you to take the most important step that you haven't taken in a while, and that is taking a step back to notice things that you never noticed before. And it's when you take that step back you notice the spot on your shirt, the spot on your tie, the flaw with your strategy, the flaw with your decision, the flaw with your partners. And you would have never noticed it because you're just so into the work. But if it wasn't for the criticism you received, if it wasn't for that feedback from a critic, someone you deemed against you, you would have never taken that step back if it wasn't for that moment of insecurity that caused you to second guess yourself to say, hey, let me just make sure I'm not thinking about this wrong. If it wasn't for that moment, you would have never noticed the opportunities to make tweaks. Here's the last thing I'll share about the purpose of critics. A critic could be a hater. A critic could be someone that just doesn't want to see you succeed or win. A critic could be someone that just wants to stand in your way. I'm going to share some advice with you that I've gotten from my faith. And that advice is to realize and remember the battle is not yours, it's the Lord's. There are some people who are going to constantly criticize, be the most negative and ardent antibody that you will ever encounter in business. And you could try to fight them. You could try to get them out your way. You can try everything in your power to do to avoid them. And you will find that you will be unsuccessful. This is that moment where you let go, as the song says, and let God. This is that moment where you realize the battle is not mine. It's the Lord's. This is the moment you realize this battle is beyond business. This is some spiritual stuff. And for some of you, you may not believe in this. But there are just forces out there that will constantly fight you. No matter what you say, to try to make them happy or to please them, they will not be happy. And they will continue to be a critic. But when you realize the purpose of those ardent antibodies, when you realize the purpose of those haters, of your critics who mean you harm, you begin to find peace in their criticism. Because every leader, every business owner has a critic that cannot be satisfied. And it is not your job to satisfy them. If you come to the point to realize that this person adds no value, means you no good, and it's just they just want to hurt you and harm you, it puts you at peace. Now, now mind you, sometimes your critics, your most ardent haters, have a valid point, and you want to treat them as valid contributors to your success. Sometimes they just are hating. But if you can draw something out of that hate, some wisdom, some insight, some perspective, if you can draw it out, and if you can learn, if nothing else, how to not get sucked into the hate of other people, if you can draw out how to focus on what's at hand and not get distracted, if you can draw out wisdom and information from your haters, you are doing yourself a great service and it will come in handy for years to come because there will always be someone who is standing away of your success. If you enjoyed this podcast, subscribe to this podcast utilizing your favorite podcasting platform. Or you can like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. You can find us there. This is Dr. William Clark for the Leadership Conversation Show, and we'll see you in the next one.